here. Uh, the Barnabas and Paul opposed, they were opposed by Elimas, the sorcerer. Sorcerer means is a fortune teller or magicians, okay, a possessed by evil spirit. His name is Elimas, the sorcerer. Now, Barnabas and Saul, they left Antioch for taking the first missionary journey. What year was A.D.? 46, right here. Okay. Now, they arrived at Seleucia. Seleucia here. Seleucia. Because you look at that. This Antioch is not an ocean city. It's around, I would say, around 20 kilometers off the you know, ocean uh, coast. So, in order to go to this island, they have to you know, travel to a ocean city, okay? So from India, they went to Seleucia. Seleucia is this, this ocean city. So they went to Seleucia, yeah. See, Seleucia, okay? Seleucia. They found a boat. Uh, they took a boat, sailed to Salamis, Salamis, this is Salamis, right here. It's Seleucia to Salamis. This is the first city in the island. They arrived here, Salamis, which is right here, Salamis. At Salamis, as usual, Barnabas and Paul, see, Bible Recorded, Barnabas name comes first. Look, when he was writing, Barnabas and Saul. You see, you always pay attention to that order. Okay, when you find the name in the Bible, always you find the name. You you decide which which person is a higher senior, which person is junior, by way of looking at the sequence. Order, okay. Here, that's the Hebrew culture, same as your culture, same as your culture. Now here, so now, at Salamis, always Barnabas and Paul, always, the first place they they go is the synagogue, Jewish synagogue. In the same way. When you travel overseas, it is your initial action to visit your own national uh, people's gathering place. Because Barnabas and Saul were Jewish people. So they always looking for the community center, Jewish community center, which is, happened to be their synagogue. Synagogue means a Jewish temple. Okay, for Judaism believers, the synagogues, they call the synagogues. Paul and Barnabas, and Barnabas and Paul always, when they arrive uh, in a city, always they visited the synagogue first. But in their mind, just for just associating Purpose? No. It's for not, a, not a purpose of the fellowship. But single purpose was in their mind sharing the gospel of Jesus. Okay? With that, they means who? Barnabas and Saul. They preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. It says in Acts 13, verse 5. You see? This is the missionary's mentality. See? Wherever you go, you have clear object. 
that wow, we have to share the gospel of Jesus. To Jewish people, what was the main, main, I would say main concern? Because the Jewish people, they believe in God, okay? Say Father God, but they do not believe in the Son God, which is Jesus. So these Jewish believers here, Barnabas and Paul, they felt that it is our job to tell people, my people, Jewish people, Jesus is the Son of God and Savior. That was their objective. See, my, my dear uh, uh, Jewish people, we believe Father God. Also, we have Father God and His Son, Jesus. Also, so you believe Jesus who came to this world to save us. Otherwise, you cannot be a child of God. So in order to be a child of God, you ought to believe Jesus who came to this world, died on the cross. That was their message. Okay? And they said, the Father God and Jesus God are the equal position. They are same. They hold the same power. Okay? That was their message. And of obviously, Jewish people, some of them changed their view on God. Say, wow, we accept Jesus as our God, the Son of God. But majority of them denied their teachings. But always two kinds of reactions okay, happened when they were visiting the synagogue right here. Okay? So after they spent time here in Salamis, Salamis were nothing but preaching the gospel of Jesus there. Okay? Now, you listen to me. What was the main purpose of visiting the island, this island? The governor, converting the governor. Okay, not staying in here, Salamis. There was just a temporal passerby, temporal visiting place. Okay, over here is main place, Papos. It's a Papos. It's a Papos. Papos. Okay, which is right here, governor place. So now, here, further travel to Paphos, he said. Luke wrote down this. See, from here, Luke wrote down this. They crossed the island. Okay? They crossed the island to the end part, right? far western part. That is a Paphos. Are you with me? Yeah. So when you teach, always draw this map. Don't just talk. You promise me? Yeah. Don't just talk. Now, here, for the travel to Papus. Now, the governor of Cyprus, his name is Sergius Paulus. Sergius Paulus lived in that city. Okay? This man, as I say in the previous lecture, he heard of their arrival. Okay? When, as they arrived in Papus, already people reported their arrival to the governor. Okay? So governor heard about their arrival. And the governor was very anxious to learn about Christian gospel from Barnabas. Okay? So it was a governor's wishes to learn more about 
Christian gospel because his friends, Barnabas, changed the religion. Now that Barnabas now arrived here in this town. Okay? So this governor invited Barnabas and Saul, invited Barnabas and Saul to his office. Acts 13, verse 7 said, Okay, it's an interesting story, isn't it? Okay. It was God's direction. Okay. In his guidance, God inspired that person. Who is the person? Governor. Okay, to invite Barnabas and Saul to his office. So they arrived in his office. Now, Look, the Bible describes the circumstances like this. In the governor's office, in the governor's office, Barnabas and Saul found a man. There's one man sitting next to the governor. Very so influential man to the governor. Okay, One man sitting there. It happens to be a Jewish man. Okay, a Jewish man. He was a Jewish man. His name was Ba Jesus. You see, it's a Ba means a son. Ba means always it is a son. Jesus. Jesus, it means in Greek word, is a savior. It's a savior. So, son of a savior. That means Ba Jesus. It's, it's one word, Ba Jesus. It's a very good name. Okay? Ba Jesus. How do you know Jesus is a savior? Jesus is Jesus. In Matthew 1 21. Okay, Matthew 121 said that Jesus is the Savior. Gabriel uh, visited uh, Joseph, asking him, the son will be born out of Maria. You name the son name Jesus. That's uh, the Savior. Okay, now here. So this man, the Jewish man, sitting next to the governor by the name of Ba Jesus, also he has a name, Elimas. Elimas, it's the same. Ba Jesus, also he has a nickname, Elimas. This job, his, his job, he was the sorcerer. Okay? Sorcerer, that means a magician. He was a fortune teller, possessed by evil spirit. He was a personal advisor to the governor. The governor always depended on his advice. A very close friend. He sometimes gives a, a speech, spiritual guidance and directions as a fortune teller to the governor. So the governor depended on him greatly. That relationship. Okay. Now, this governor sitting right here, and next to him was a Jesus Elimas sitting right here. Okay. Now, Barnabas and Paul sitting over the other side. Okay. And Barnabas and Paul about to preach the gospel to the governor because the governor was asking them, hey, tell me about your new religion. Okay? And Barnabas and Paul was about to preach the gospel to the governor all of a sudden. This Elimas stand and 
and strongly opposing to uh, them. Barnabas and Paul said, not to preach. And he was telling the governor, that, sir, do not listen to them. Okay, Do not accept Jesus as the Savior as they did. Okay, It was a very strong spiritual, spiritual battle happened inside of the governor's office. We call it power encounter. Have you heard that name? Power encounter. Two powers. Power encounter. Two powers meeting each other and confronting each other. Okay? Power encounter took place in the governor's office. That is the story written here okay, at the governor's office during the time of first missionary journey where in the Papmos, okay, Papos, in the island of what? Cyprus. Okay? This is the, my lecture on this lecture two. You have to keep this story in your mind. And in lecture three, we will develop further. Okay? So when you teach, always teach. Short like this, with the map, okay, and explain in a plain language, plain language, like this, so that they can visualize. They can visualize. Now we are visualizing what had happened in the office of governor. Okay, so we will see. The next lecture, what had happened. May God bless all of you, those who are watching out of the video. May God touch you in a very special and mighty way. In Jesus' name, amen.